So that's how to use this thing. Like I recommend taking it out, yeah. using it on your shots, set up those audio benchmarks because you can practice in the house yeah. and then just start getting used to like, oh, okay, now you've gone out and played, you've hit a bunch of great shots and you know like, okay, yeah. we know for you, when you go into flexion right away and shut that face, yeah. you're gonna be fighting a hook and you can't release yeah. it. So your rotation's gonna go way down and, and your speed's gonna go way down. Yeah. You start maintaining extension as you go back mm -hmm. and you feel that and that radial deviation staying wide, yeah. then you're gonna be like, I have control of this club face now. Yeah. Well, that's really interesting. I do have a nice hidden net in my back, back pad yoke. Perfect. What's good about this thing is I don't have to hit balls. As long as you hit the ground, as long as you get some sort of vibration with no, it. I, gotta... so, I mean, this thing's like a coach in a box. Like once you understand how to interpret the data and how to change it, yeah. you, can, you can coach yourself at least to a degree, you know? And then when you're doing swing reviews, you can send us this data okay. and we can be like, oh, I can see so what's happening right, right away. Now, which... So you can see your extension and flexion is wildly different than where you started. Yes. It's way more under control. Yeah. And look, you're negative three at impact now. So you're bowing, you were plus 30. Yeah. Now well, you're gonna well, be able to compress the golf ball. I don't even know I'm doing that either. It should happen naturally. Yeah, that, that's the good thing about it. What, what you know, is that it's just happening. I'm not like trying to manipulate it. This is what I've been trying to tell people. Like the golf swing should be a relatively natural movement, yeah. but it's, so when you're trying to bow your wrist, I never try and bow my wrist. Yeah. It's the last thing on earth. Right. I, first of all, it's happening way too damn fast. I can't try and do that. Yeah. And you can't think about it either. No. But if you're in extension at the top and you start swinging properly, your wrist, because of the way that the club, as your body starts pulling your, what happens to your wrist, yeah. It starts to bow, yeah. right? You just did it right away, so it had nowhere else to go. 